OK, so let's start by creating two ellipses. To do that, let's just Alt or Option click on the Ellipse tool twice. Now let's just move the Ellipse Shape 2 to the right a little bit. And then we'll take a connection from Shape 2 and drag this onto Shape 1 and add it as a mask. And now if we go to the Mask tab on Shape 1, let's change the mode to Subtract. With Shape 1 selected, we can now go up to the shelf and click on the Duplicator icon. Let's have a circle distribution with a count of 15. And then we can use the shape rotation to bring these round to create the ring effect. Once you're here, you can now adjust the radius. We can adjust shape rotation as we've seen, or we can go back to shape two and change its position to change the effect here as well. Now, if all of this is far too much work, we do actually have a preset here. So you can go create, presets, generative art, ring, and we're done.